Hey there, Janae with Palin Projects here, and in this video, we are going to be planting up some rhubarb. So I told you guys earlier in the season that I would be planting up um, some more legacy plants, and this is one of those plants. My grandma has had rhubarb for years and years and years, and we took um, basically like a baby, baby rhubarb plants off of her plant, um, and I'm going to be planting them on my property here as kind of like a keepsake for her memory. So um, let me show them to you. Okay, here they are. We have five roots. Um, this one might have dried up because uh, I haven't gotten it in the ground. Um, but five good ones so far. I'll still plant that one um, just in case. But I desperately need to get these guys into the ground uh, so that they're hooked up on drip and happy and healthy. Um, the locations I'm going to be planting these... Uh, uh, roots, rhubarb roots, um, are going to be in various locations throughout the property. Um, I want to see how they do and if, um, you know, one location works a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I really want to try and preserve these rhubarb roots as much as possible um, and at least get one plant to survive. So I'm pretty confident that uh, they will survive. They, uh, they survived, you know, eastern Montana's scorching sun and harsh temperatures. So, um, you know, they're pretty hardy. I don't know the variety. I don't have their variety name um, of them, but they they produce and produce and produce. I mean, she would have gallon upon gallon upon gallon bags of rhubarb every year. So, um, pretty prolific and uh, pretty hardy. So, let's get planting. I got the rhubarbs planted. I planted one in the half moon, one in the south flower garden, three in um, the west square, and one in the south part of the left L. Um, we'll see how each of them do in each of the locations. Um, I did put the three in the, the square because, um, and you might have noticed, 
I planted the three where I had the one from the spring. I planted one that I had bought this spring. Um, a bunny came through and decimated that bed. Um, and then my child came through and plucked up the sweet potato that was planted there as well. So uh, we were weeding one night and she decided that my sweet potato slip was in fact a weed. And I planted it hoping that it would take again and it didn't, which is fine. Um, we're not a huge sweet potato family, so uh, one plant should be enough for us. Uh, but anyways, I, I figured I would deck that uh, that flower bed or that uh, garden box out in rhubarb, and then I can save and whatnot. And then the chances of survival for those three go up in that area, because that's that's really where I would like the rhubarb to be, is in that um, in that square garden box. So. If you have any questions or anything, um, I did put Biotone starter fertilizer in the hole after I dug the hole, and then I put the root, the rhubarb root, on top of that, and then covered it back with native soil. So um, that's kind of how I planted. I'm, I'm gonna go back now and water everything in because it's super hot here. Um, I think this is our last over 100 degree day, though. So crossing my fingers that the temps kind of dip down a little bit, so it kind of gives these a reprieve from the heat. But I'm gonna go water them in real fast and make sure that they're happy in their new home um, but if you have any questions or um, have any comments please put them in the comment section below and I would love to hear from you we'll see you in the next project thanks guys bye